What's up, YouTube? Bagpiper coming at you from uh, the mod shop, aka Fatty's Garage, home of Mod Shop Customs, which is the final and official name for uh, what I'm calling my cobs, or what I'm calling my pipes, rather, uh, because I don't plan on just doing cobs. Uh, I'd like to do a couple of briars and uh, I'd like to do a couple of hardwoods with inserts. But I also do uh, modifications to custom vehicles, so it all kind of fits together. Mod Shop Customs. I am smoking in. A Mod Shop Custom Prototype, the Gentle Pony. When I had this, uh, <clears throat> the original concept for this was a country gent with a general bowl, uh, and I was going to call it the uh, Country Poker. Now, how do I use the general bowl as the bowl and the country gent as the stem? That probably would have worked. And I mean, I guess I could still do that, <clears throat> but uh, I really wanted the gent to be the bowl, and the pony just fits it so much nicer. So, <clears throat> gentle pony. This is a great reverse calabash system. For those of you who are interested in what it would look like not being two different colors. <clears throat> this is a naked one that is uh, waiting to be bought. Once it is, once it is purchased, and the uh, buyer tells me what color he wants then I will stain it and then I'll put the sticker back on it that sticker and it will get shipped out um, I made I had uh, two commissioned and I was making one for as a gift and uh, Let me rephrase that. I had one commission. I had one that the guy said he'd really like to have one. Uh, and he would probably buy it. And then one is a gift. <clears throat> and uh, the second guy got sick. And said, I'm just not. He's like, you know, I was out of work or whatever. I, I can't. I don't want to buy the pipe right now. You know, I'd hate for you to have to hold on to it. So just go ahead and sell it. No big deal. Uh... You want to see what it looks like with just one, like the solid color? Hold up. Alright, so this is the gift one. And uh, I just haven't put the uh, sticker on it yet. Uh, waiting on the bit to come in for it. But this is a... Uh, This one is a combination <clears throat> black and brown stain. I kind of like just the solid brown better. But, uh, then I have another one that I haven't smoked yet. <clears throat> I've got too mud at the bottom of the bowl still. Um, all my pipes. I mud the inside around where the shank was left in to keep the draw hole small versus having it open right here where it connects. Uh, so I have the uh, mod shop chimney or chimney pot as I might be calling it. Uh, 
haven't smoked out of this one yet, but I'm excited to. It is a uh, spindle and a Patriot. And then I have the Canadian Chimney, which also has the black and brown finish on it, <clears throat> which I made this one to uh, have the Danish bit on it, the Danish stem, but I'm going to be putting one of these on here instead because I think it looks better filling up the uh, cob the rest of the way. It's about the same length, so it won't affect anything as far as length. But it just fills that cob up a little bit better. So I'm going to swap that out. Um, yeah. This one is also a gift, uh, but I have enough stuff to make another one. So these, this one is also, this version is also up for sale. Uh, <clears throat> and the prices on all of them are, include shipping. So I feel like it's a pretty good deal. And the goal isn't to make money off of it. I'm really not trying to make any money. Um, I mean, I guess technically I am making some money, but I only make about five bucks. And that's not profit. That's what I'm getting paid for the labor. Uh, the rest of the money goes into supplies <clears throat> and shipping. And then, uh, whatever, however, you know, if I, I have to sell three or four pipes before I'm able to take my, my money, my profit, uh, my labor money and, uh, buy tobacco with it. But that's how I plan on supporting my habit or my hobby rather is to, uh, sell, <clears throat> some pipes mod some pipes sell some uh, pipe stands oh and uh, sell plastic baggies with tobacco in them not okay not really sell but I forgot to mention what I'm smoking. I am smoking my own blend called Smoky Delight. Which is a uh, a, a creamy, sweet Latakia blend. Um <clears throat> And if you're thinking, man, that name sounds really familiar to uh, Lane's Delight. Well, that's because Lane's Delight is the base with Latakia in it. Um, and it is really good. I'm really enjoying it. I might... <clears throat> I'm thinking about... Uh, one more rendition of this blend and if I like the other one better then I will just do away with making this one all together and only do the other one but this one's really good I actually had different plans on this video when I started, but I started talking about the cobs, and now I don't want to add the two videos together. So, I guess this is just going to be a quick video showcasing some of the cobs. And then a question, how do you pay for your...
hobby. Uh, does it? Do you just work a little bit of overtime to afford your stuff? Do you have a side hustle so you can afford stuff? Um, do you just budget it into your bills and you know whatever? How do you support your hobby? Are you like uh, the piping artist, artist Steph who does trades? <clears throat> Which realistically, that's a little uh, half of my, well not even half, most of my business has been trades. I trade, I've, I've traded a lot of pipe stands for stuff. I'll trade pipes for stuff, tobaccos for other tobaccos. How, how do you support your hobby? quick unintentional video but maybe not quick an unintentional video but uh, worthwhile nonetheless I think alright y'all keep them full lit and rolling bagpiper out